Yeah, this seems a little low, doesn't it? Check. No, it's too high. Somewhere, there's this old saying that you don't know what you don't know until you learn. With model rockets, it's more like you don't know what you don't know until you, you crash your rocket. <laughs> so we're here to save you some pain. These are the top ways people screw up their parachutes. Obviously, the most important part of getting your rocket back <laughs> is it falling like a leaf and not falling like a rock. So. The first way is for getting your recovery wadding. If you don't know what recovery wadding is, welcome to Model Rockets. Clearly, you're very new at this and you need to learn. Recovery wadding is the material that protects your parachute from the ejection charge in the motor. Basically, it's what keeps your parachute from catching on fire. <laughs> uh, for getting your recovery wadding is the easiest way to catch it on fire, to burn a hole in it, and to ruin your parachute. Number two and three are easy to prevent together. Launching with a broken parachute with a hole in it or something, or a tear, probably from my kid, or launching with a detached or broken shroud line. One of the strings that keeps the parachute onto the rocket either a broken parachute or a broken string. Those are number two and three ways I really mess up my parachute. But please be aware that there are pieces of rocket coming down. Some are tumbling and coming down fast. Some are taking their own time, so. The next way, the technical phrase, is parachute line entanglement, which is kind of an obnoxious mouthful of saying the strings of the parachute get wrapped up and get tangled with each other. Maybe starts turning and it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and then it just drops like a rock. The easiest way to prevent it is just by knowing what causes it. It's usually caused by uneven shroud lines. So if some of the strings are short and some of the strings are long, it'll cause your parachute to spin while it comes down and cause it to get all wrapped up. So as long as your shroud lines are even, you're very careful about making sure it maintains an even flow on the parachute, it shouldn't be an issue for you. But if you want to go over the top, you can buy a fishing swivel and just attach the strings to that. That way it lets it spin freely if you want to go above and beyond. But I don't do that. Just make sure your strings are even all the way around and it shouldn't be an issue for you. The next way is just by folding the parachute wrong. Either just stuffing the whole parachute into the tube or wrapping it wrong so the shroud lines catch the parachute itself or catch something on the rocket on the way out. Um, or even we've seen folding it so tightly and so precisely like origami with the parachute that it's so tight that when it shoots out of the rocket, it never actually opens up. It just stays closed because no wind can get in and then it, parachutes don't work like that. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, we have another video. This is how you fold a parachute. If you do it right, it should work 100% of the time. Probably the most un uncommon thing to happen, but we wanted to name it anyways, is there's two different kind of ways to fold a parachute. There's the fast fold and the slow fold. We can get all technical right now, but basically it's how long it takes the parachute to open up, whether you want to open up immediately or unroll first and then open up slowly. With the fast fold, if you have a heavy rocket and did a fast fold, it is possible that it goes to open so fast that the strings just detach and rip off and then your parachute breaks. If you're shooting with big rockets, you're probably not watching this video. It's probably people who are having fun with their kids, launching smaller rockets, or just getting started. So either fold should work great for the weight of rocket, the size of parachutes you're using. But I wanted to throw that out there. If you're doing heavier rockets, learn about fast and slow folds and pick the one that's right for you. I hope this video saves you some rockets. <laughs> so you don't know what you don't know until you crash a few rockets. But hopefully that's not true anymore. Hopefully you don't know what you don't know until you watch a couple of our YouTube videos. So stick around, subscribe, watch a few more. We're gonna keep uploading all the tips and tricks we're learning by crashing a few of our rockets to hopefully save a few of yours.